one of the, I mean, the topics that are said out there is that we cannot trust climate mm -hmm. models. Okay. Well, what I've done is I've compiled two different studies that were done a long time ago, and there's more yeah. than two, actually. The first one is from Exxon, the oil company. Oftentimes in, in, in climate science, we have a lot of these special interest fossil fuel companies that are fighting climate science because they don't want necessarily they want to sow doubt in the climate community in, the, in yeah. the public community because you know if we have if we start weaning ourselves from 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 fossil fuels they they stand to lose a lot of money right right so there's been a lot of pushback a lot of deceptive practices well i want to show you something in particular this actually is directly from exxon's uh research in the 1970s 80s and 90s yeah okay and i know it's hard to see this this is a document that was from their actual research a couple documents actually so let me first zoom into one so this was from one particular model from Exxon in 1982. Mm -hmm. And the black lines on both of these, the yeah. first black line on top indicates their projection of the carbon dioxide increase. And then the second black line that you see under it near the red yeah. line, that indicates their projection of what the temperatures would do. Look at how closely. And then the blue line indicates what they thought, the, excuse me, the blue line indicates what the actual carbon dioxide concentration has been. Oh my, right on okay? the money. It's right on the money. This was 1982. Same thing with temperatures. Actually, Exxon overestimated how much the temperatures would go up by a little bit yes. in their model. But it's really so they, close. They knew this was going to happen. They knew this was going to happen. And here's another example. Uh, we're going to go here. This is all the models that uh, this particular paper, and this is from Jeffrey Supron, um, uh, and, and it was released in 2023 if you want to look it up. Uh, these are all of Exxon's models that he at least uh, plotted here between 1977 and uh, 2003 and you can see the actual temperature rises in red mm -hmm. look at the look at all the gray and black lines those yeah. are the exxon models yeah. pretty close very close. now we don't know what's going to happen after 2020 right yeah it's going to keep going up clearly according to exxon's models yeah but the models have been great okay so forget about exxon let's yeah. go to let's take someone else's models okay this is james hansen he is the fam most famous climate scientist in the world mm -hmm. he's the guy who testified before congress in the 1980s and there was a big headline the next day saying global climate change is happening or actually it was global warming is already happening or something yeah. like that okay so he's famous for this look at his climate projections in 1988 versus what happened his scenario, scenario B, is the blue line, indicating how much he thought the temperature would rise. And look at the actual temperature rise in red. Yeah, it's almost perfect. Now, of course, it yeah. every year it goes up a little, goes down goes, a little. Yeah. But if you did, if you drew a straight linear line through that, you would see they both Pretty end close. up almost exactly in the yeah. same place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've known the computer models when predicting the average global temperature, and I'll come back out of that. Yeah. When predicting the average global temperature, they have been incredibly accurate, mm -hmm. off by just a little. But right. just knowing what the what the future increases in greenhouse gases may be, especially carbon dioxide, we can tell within a small margin of error mm -hmm. what those global temperatures will gonna, are going to be. That is pretty amazing. Yeah. I am amazed at those Exxon climate uh, models. That's, that's how close they are. Yeah, because... well, they, you know, and that and those are primitive models. Right. Now yeah, imagine yeah, how good our climate right. models are. Yeah.